<laughs> good Thursday afternoon. It is one o'clock on your Thursday afternoon here in the New Orleans area. Welcome to our tropical weather impact update here. We're bringing you hourly updates every hour on the hour to talk about our tropical disturbance. We've been watching for the last several days. It is about to move into southeastern Louisiana. Now it's a broad area of low pressure and it really has no more chance of strengthening. We have seen a plenty of soaking downpours with this over the last 24 hours, maybe a little bit less than that, 18 hours or so. Some of us have seen some heavy rain thanks to the tropical moisture associated with Invest 93, especially for our coastal spots. Our bayou parishes have seen some heavy rain. Last night we had some strong storms, a lot of lightning and pretty loud thunder and some heavy downpours, and we'll continue to see similar impacts in the coming days. Today and tomorrow we'll have scattered showers and storms, some heavy at times, plenty of dry breaks in between. Some of us may not see a whole lot. Others may get several inches of rain like we have seen, so you could get some localized flooding. Not a problem for everybody. So we'll talk about the latest on NS 93, our Gulf disturbance here on our Thursday afternoon. So this is the latest update from the National Hurricane Center. It's rough location here since it is kind of that broad area of low pressure. It's just really offshore in the Mississippi Sound now moving into southeast Louisiana this afternoon. So no more chance of it strengthening since it is going to be approaching our exact area but it is weak, so not a whole lot of fanfare with this, thankfully. So good news with that, but it has been cloudy. It has been dreary. Luckily, it's been on the cooler side since we've had the tropical moisture in the clouds and the rain. So we'll talk about what's happening now across the area with our live radar. So we do have some heavy rain for parts of our Bayou parishes, some heavy showers along the coast. Stronger storms off to the west, north of Morgan City, west of Thibodeau. So we've got some stronger storms in the Atchafalaya Basin. Uh, that's where we have the heaviest of the rain happening today. That's where it is expected with those storms kind of lingering in that region. Some soaking showers towards Baton Rouge and off to the west. Closer look at our area, we do have one storm over Lake Pontchartrain. As this Gulf disturbance moves inland, we're starting to see maybe some Breezy conditions continuing, some heavier showers as well. So I'll zoom in. This is where we have one downpour, one thunderstorm in New Orleans East. Over the causeway, we're dealing with some heavy rain with this thunderstorm, some lightning as well. Heavy rain along Interstate 10 here, so a bit of a messy drive for some of us this morning. So this thunderstorm is going to continue to drift across the metro area in the next several minutes. So we'll have some scattered downpours through today, and that's really the biggest thing. Heavy rains coming in in batches. Some soaking downpours along I-55 for our river parishes and in Laplace. So heavy rain for some of us driving along this afternoon. You'll want to keep that in mind. You may encounter some big puddles and ponding on some of our roadways since some of us did get some good soaking rain over the last day or so, a little bit less than a day. But since we've had some soaking rain since last night into today, there could be some nuisance issues in a few spots may slow you down a few minutes, but maybe you know if you're on the North Shore, a lot of us on the North Shore haven't seen a whole lot currently looking at maybe one or two showers in Franklinton and Washington Parish, a little bit of rain uh, for parts of St. Tammany Parish and a little spotty shower in Tangipahoa, South Mississippi, kind of similar one little shower in Picayune, so some heavy rain in a few spots for Picayune. Showers for Pearl River County, Poplarville seeing a little bit of rain uh, zooming out again. It's pretty spotty. It's few and far between, but we've got this one big storm over the lake and over New Orleans East. And again, that's going to drift west into the metro area in the next several minutes or so. And then we do have some heavier showers for parts of St. Bernard Parish, and those are uh, continuing to drift westward. One little shower on the west bank there. Um, in it, north of Bell Chase, kind of in the Chalmette area and on the West Bank, kind of hugging the Mississippi River, both sides of the river, seeing uh, those showers. English Turn seeing a little bit of rain. Chalmette on the East Bank seeing a little bit of rain as well. And that's really our big thing, passing tropical downpours through today and tomorrow. Off to the west, a little bit of rain for our river parishes and heavy downpours for Baton Rouge and persistent storms off to the west near Morgan City, Atchafalaya Basin, going to see some heavier showers and maybe more of a flooding risk today off to the west for them. So that's what we have currently. Uh, as we go throughout the course of today, it's going to be give and take, you know, come and go. Rain at times, other times it's dry. It's kind of business as usual across the area. This is Bourbon Street, French Quarter. Pretty lively, I guess, for a Thursday afternoon. Got some crowds of people here and there, but here we've got a little bit of a lull. We'll break in the crowds on Bourbon Street or just a few minutes ago. I saw a big crowd, but people still enjoying themselves today. And you know, it's kind of a nice treat to have some tropical moisture with no big problems. So we've had 
not really had any big issues with this, but we've had some cooler temperatures, some cloudiness, so it's not as extremely hot. Temperatures are in the 80s in the afternoon, so that's a big gift from this. Also, the 70s for our Bayou parishes because they've had more rain, so 75 degrees in Homa, a little bit of rain will take it. 82 in the New Orleans Metro, 85 in Slidell, so it is a bit hotter north of the lake because we've seen less rain there. So that's really the big silver lining, but it is very muggy and humid. A lot of tropical moisture around. It is sticky and muggy out there. No real surprise with that. Winds have been calm because Invest 93 is weak. So here we go with our current wind speeds, 8 to 15 mile per hour winds, and they'll continue to be a little bit breezy. As this disturbance pushes in our area, we'll have occasional breezes here and there up to maybe 20. 25 miles per hour. You may get one or two stronger storms trying to gust up to maybe 30 or 40 miles per hour. So you may get one or two stronger thunderstorms coming in today and tomorrow as the tropical moisture lingers and Invest 93 continues to push west through our region through today. Latest from the National Hurricane Center, even lower chances of tropical development. No surprise there since it is over land. Essentially, it's going to be moving over land through the rest of today. 10% chance of tropical development. So not worried about that. Just going to be watching for the same impacts we've been talking about. Passing rain and a few storms, cloudy skies today and tomorrow. Maybe some localized street flooding. Not a problem for everybody, thankfully. So we'll show you our spaghetti models. Pretty similar thinking that we've been mentioning. It's going to drift west through our area and then eventually get pulled up to the north around an area of high pressure. But like we've been talking about, it may move around the high pressure as it moves clockwise around high pressure. And then later next week, it may do a full circle and come right back down into the Gulf Coast. So we'll have to watch for more tropical moisture during the middle to latter part of next week. We may have to do this again and see what happens. Will we have more rain? Can it develop? Things like that. So make sure you stay tuned as we go throughout the next week to see how things unfold. We'll keep a weather impact alert for today and tomorrow because of the rounds of heavy showers. Some of us, particularly our bayou parishes, coastal spots, have seen several inches of rain over the last day or less. And if we get some more, we've got saturated ground, you can get some localized street flooding. So isolated flooding concerns, something to watch through today and tomorrow. We may get anywhere from two to four inches of rain over the next several days, but something we'll certainly have to watch for some of us, not all of us. We know that these storms are pretty efficient rainmakers, so it can dump a few inches in a short amount of time. That's really the big concern. How heavy can the rain get in a short period of time in a particular spot, especially a spot we know can flood easily. So we'll, we'll just keep that, you know, on, on our minds just in case. But like we've seen, we get lots of breaks, a lot of dry breaks in between to help us out. So make sure you check in with the forecast, download our WW app. You can always watch the radar. Don't cancel any of your plans. You can see the radar and see where the storms are, how they're shaping up in the next few days. It's not going to be a huge washout, but it's going to be, you know, a bit soggy through today, through tomorrow and even into Saturday. And of course, check check us out on WWL Plus. You can watch anytime for free on your smart TV. We're going to do these hourly updates all day today, every hour on the hour, just to bring you the latest on what's happening. Since it is moving through our area, even though it is a weak, no big deal system, we do have some more heavy rain possible in a couple areas. So here we go through the rest of the afternoon, scattered showers and storms, maybe some soaking downpours, especially off to the west. Like I mentioned, Lafayette to Morgan City to Baton Rouge, central Louisiana, western Louisiana could see some soaking downpours later today. Even us will have a few scattered storms through the rest of today as well into tonight off and on uh, and then through tomorrow. Pretty similar deal. Tropical moisture hangs around. We've got scattered storms in the mix Friday, maybe some heavier showers in a few spots going into tomorrow. We'll have to watch for some localized flooding tomorrow as well. Tropical moisture still not done with us yet as we head into Saturday. So I still think Saturday. I know it's the weekend. Of course, we've got some more scattered storms possible throughout the day Saturday. Still hit or miss variety. Pretty typical summertime forecast for us going into this weekend, but we could get some heavy downpours at times on Saturday. But finally, Sunday, that's when our pattern starts to change. That high pressure builds in. The moisture breaks up out and moves out of here, so it's going to be a bit drier going into Sunday and then early next week on Monday and Tuesday. It's going to be drier but hotter. So here we go with our rainfall totals, and this is between now into Saturday. So the next few days, we may tack on anywhere from two to four inches widespread. Some of us may get up to a half an inch, an inch. Some of us may get a little over four inches, especially for our western spots, bayou spots. So it's it's a wide array that we're talking about here. You may have to deal with some localized flooding. You may not. So it's kind of similar when we have these systems come in. Kind of tricky to say exactly where the storms will set up. 
but we know it looks like our westernmost areas, including our Bayou parishes, could see the bulk of the rain today. So we'll have to watch for some localized flooding there towards Lafayette, Morgan City, parts of Terrebonne Parish as well. Uh, and that is our flooding outlook for our Thursday. So most of us in the slight category, level two out of four risk, which we've seen many a time here. So one or two instances, instances of street flooding, not out of the question. So keep that in mind. You may have to have a little bit slower of a drive home, especially if it's raining pretty hard when we're going home from work and school today. You may want have to slow down a few, you know, extra minutes, things like that. Tomorrow, another similar setup here. Slight risk of excess excessive rainfall, so level two out of four tomorrow, where we could watch for some localized street flooding tomorrow as well. We're still under a flood watch. That'll continue until late Friday night, so because of the heavy rain anticipated, anywhere from two to four inches of rain possible, that's why we're still under the flood watch until later tomorrow night. It's very isolated, that chance. This is a worst case scenario, six to eight, six to eight inches. Six to eight inches is an isolated worst case scenario for spots off to the west for our Bayou parishes. So that would be like a low chance for that, but not completely out of the question, but generally expecting anywhere from two to four inches in the coming days, like in the next three days. So we'll, we'll be watching it very closely for you. Since it is a weak system, we're really not worried about wind not worried about coastal flooding, but as Invest 93 continues to push inland today, make it occasionally breezy 10 15 mile per hour winds, maybe gusting 20 to 30 at times through today and even into tomorrow. Today we've got the variable winds as the low pressure moves in tomorrow. We'll have more southerly winds come our way, so we'll have south winds on tap Friday, a little bit breezy here and there today and tomorrow and then by Saturday, pretty calm winds for us going into the weekend. So I mentioned the high pressure that's going to start building in from the east and move west in our direction that will help push invest 93 up to the north and it could do that full circle motion later next week. So that's something we'll be watching closely for late next week and I'll show you a rough idea with it now. So this is today. Here's all the moisture with the Gulf disturbance invest 93. It eventually pushes up to the northwest, eventually up to the north around the high pressure. The high builds in over our area, so it's going to be mostly dry. Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, less rain, but hotter temperatures, mid 90s early next week. So more scorching hot weather for us. And then the high pressure starts to drift more to the north and then the area of moisture comes back around. So this next Wednesday and looks like it may hang out even next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll have to see what can it do? Can it develop if it spends time over the Gulf? Is it just going to bring us heavy rain similar to what we're seeing? So a lot to look out for next week when it comes to just this area moving back around for us. So and we're not done with it quite yet. So later next week, we're watching the tropical moisture again. So keep that in mind for later next week. Here is our seven day forecast for the southeast Louisiana, South Mississippi area. So we'll keep the weather impact alert for today and tomorrow just because we have that chance for passing tropical downpours. Silver lining is it is cloudy and cooler and temperatures are in the 80s in the afternoon. So that's kind of a treat for us going into the weekend. It heats up to the 90s. We'll keep scattered storms in the mix Saturday. Still hit or miss variety, but some soaking showers possible early this weekend. Sunday, mostly dry, maybe one or two storms. So if you like doing stuff outside in the summertime, Sunday will probably be a better day for the weekend. Early next week, staying hot in the mid 90s with much less rain. But by next Wednesday, the tropical moisture could be coming back for us. We'll have to watch for heavy rain mid to late next week. So thanks for tuning in. Like I said, every hour on the hour, we're going to be here bringing you the latest updates on the Gulf disturbance on WWL plus social media, Facebook, YouTube, things like that. So make sure you check back in with us at two o'clock.